Hello and welcome to the channel. Now, a few weeks ago, I looked at how to play xCloud with your iPhone and the accompanying grip to make it easier. Well, in today's video, I've got one for Android. But this one is a little bit special. This one is designed for Xbox. Now it's this, the Acon MGX. It's a phone grip that effortlessly turns your phone into a portable Xbox, and it's fantastic. So if you're looking to use xCloud on your Android phone, then stick around. Subscribe, like, sit back as I turn up the lights, put this down on the tech desk, and we talk about how to play xCloud on your Android with a very special Nacon MGX controller. Welcome down onto the tech desk. And as we said in the introduction, we're going to be looking at this today. So this is the Nacon MGX controller for your Android phone. Very recently released, it's got released this week. I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of it. And like I said in the introduction, we've looked at how to do it with the iPhone. Now we're gonna look about doing it with the Android. So I'm gonna split this video up into two parts. The first part will be telling you how to get xCloud onto your phone. Dead easy, very quickly. Then we're gonna talk about putting the phone into this controller and what this controller is like. So I'll leave timestamps below. So if you wanna to skip to where we look at this, go and skip in the timestamp down there. Okay, so to kick it off then, so I've got my Android phone. This is just a simple OnePlus N100 phone. I got it very cheap off Amazon um, and it works absolutely fine. So what you need to do is you need to get your phone and if you haven't got a Game Pass subscription, that's the first thing. So go onto Xbox.com, sign up to Game Pass. If you are a new user, they do have deals. Um, if you're not, all you do is you download the Game Pass app and then all you do is you click on it and then it will ask you to sign in. So just go through your signing credentials and that's it. That's pretty much it. Then you've got access to all of the Game Pass games you have on your phone. So if you go down it, so we have the kind of like the games we've looked at, uh, played before, the recently added ones, day one release, play with touch. So if you haven't got a controller and you want to use, use the touch, these are the games that will use the screen of the controller. But this video isn't about using, a, um, using the screen, it's about using a controller because I don't know about you, for me, I find it quite difficult to use the screen on your phone. I much prefer a tactile controller and that's where this bad boy comes in. Okay, so recent released, um, depending on where you're watching this video, this has been released this week and it's from Nacon and it's the MGX. Now, very quickly unboxing, um, on the front, a picture of it and all about it, plays on Android. It won't work with the iPhone, okay? And it's designed for the Xbox, which is uh, for obvious reasons, but we'll talk about that in a bit. And then just a bit of gumph about it. And then inside, with all the packaging, you get a few things. Um, starters. You get loads and loads of paperwork. So you get all that great, all that gumph, fantastic. Put that to one side. And then you get this. This is um, I'm an 80 centimeter USB Type-C cable. And I've got to put a special mention to this. It's brilliant. It's so thick and solid. This is gonna be my new go-to uh, USB Type-C cable. It's got their logo on it there. I just think it's terminated very well. Very solid, like I said, 80 centimeters, a really good, uh, USB cable, so I'll plug that in over there. There we go. And then on to the controller itself. So asymmetrical design, so stick up there, stick down there, as with most kind of uh, Xbox controllers. The D-pad down there. On the top we have the view button and the menu button. Y, X, B and A in the Xbox colors. Uh, two thumbsticks and we have the dedicated Xbox button down here and there's an LED on there just to show you about charging and kind of like power as well. Um, then flipping it over, this is kind of all rubberized. So this bit here, see this bit here, this is all rubberized and it's raised up either side to help with the grip. Now this is fantastic, this feels really nice to grip. So this is a welcome inclusion because most of this is just smooth plastic. But this is the rubber to help with the grip. And then also in here, this is rubber where it says Nacon, this is all rubber and it goes all the way up the sides there. So when you put your phone in, it kind of protects it because of the rubber. The sticks, the sticks are quite small, but on the on the on um, this one here, it has the logo there for added grippy texture. And I've not had a problem with it. I think this is fantastic. The, 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 the thumb sticks are really responsive. Um, as long as you get decent connection, uh, nothing to do with the controller, 
to do with Game Pass and xCloud. If you get a decent connection with your phone, um, I can't show you up too much up here because my Wi-Fi is a bit dodgy up here, but if you can get on 5G or decent Wi-Fi, there's no lag at all, fantastic. And similarly with the D-pad, as I say with all my controller videos, uh, the D-pad is very personal preference, but I didn't have an issue at all hitting any of the D-pad, wasn't miss hitting any of them. And then right down the bottom here, you just have this lip here that helps keep um, the controller from slipping off and either side we have the Bluetooth connection button so when you want to connect it it connects via Bluetooth and over here is for the USB type C. Then up on the top here we have the triggers RBRT LBLT so these are digital satisfying click in there and the triggers here if honest they're a bit spongy to give them a bit of a welly to squeeze them down but they feel nice certainly decent amount of feedback when you're playing games like Forza for the Accelerate. And these Xbox specific buttons here, they're quite small, but I didn't have a problem uh, hitting them on the right time. And I wasn't hitting two at the same time, just for like very decent buttons. So when we plug it in, when you want to charge it, it takes a couple of hours to charge. Um, when it's charging, there will be a light that comes on and when it's fully charged, the light will go out and then you'll get 20 hours of gameplay out of this bad boy. So this will outlast your phone a couple of times easily. The way you put it in, is dead simple as with most of these is put it in there like that I put it in there the stretchy bit and then plonk it in like that and then we're in and that's it and as you can see it's a really nice fit it's a little bit of a gap below there but I think that just helps with kind of circulation but it's almost flush to the top of here and there's gonna be no worries about scratching because it's gonna be touching all of this which is rubber on here so there's no issues there whatsoever let me just sign into my phone so to connect it whilst you've turned it on using the xbox button underneath there you just hold down the bluetooth button and that will activate bluetooth then just go into your phone select it and it will connect and once it's connected every time you press that it will just connect immediately to your thing and then once you fire up um, game pass there we go you've got it connected and it plays so the controller itself, it feels really nice to hold. These grippy bits here really help. I think they're fantastic. Um, it weighs 210 grams, but with my phone, admittedly other phones will be different weights, but this one is 400 grams. Now to give you that some kind of, um, kind of uh, scale for that, this is an Elite controller. This is 350 grams, it's Elite 2 controller. And a Nintendo Switch is exactly the same at 400 grams, so it's exactly the same weight as this on my on my phone. As you can see, with my with this phone, which is a 6.5 inch screen, it can take up to maximum of 6.7 inch screen. You can see it's about the same width as a Nintendo Switch, but this has a bigger screen because the screen on a Switch is only 6.2 inches. This is 6.5 to hold really nice really helps when, when gaming with with the Xbox I think it's absolutely fantastic design for Xbox works really really well okay so if you've got any questions do leave them down below um, I hopefully I hopefully I've answered them all I think the main one be with is your phone compatible as long as you are on Android 6.0 plus and as long as your screen is a maximum of 6.7 inches it will work on anything and like I say in this one note n100 dirt cheap off Amazon. I mean, I got it for £110, which is nothing simply to use for Game Pass when out and about when in 5G. There we have it then. That was my look at this, the MGX controller from Nacon. What do you think? Have you got Android? Are you going to be using this? Um, I think this is a fantastic piece of kit. It's out new. I'll leave links down below where you can get it. Please do subscribe. Stick your thumbs up if you like the video. And until the next video, bye-bye.